Welcome to the lesson on magnetic field and magnetic lines. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to explain magnetic field and magnetic lines, describe magnetic field due to current carrying various conductors, state and explain right hand thumb rule, explain force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field, state and explain Fleming's left hand thumb rule. Explain the working of an electric motor. This is a compass needle. It gets deflected when brought near a bar magnet. A compass needle is in fact a small bar magnet. The ends of the compass needle point towards north and south directions. The end pointing towards north is called north seeking or north pole. The other end that points towards south is called south seeking or south pole. We place a bar magnet on a white board. Then we sprinkle some iron fillings uniformly around the bar magnet. Upon tapping the bound gently, the iron fillings arrange themselves in a pattern. This happens because magnet exerts force on the surrounding area. A magnetic field exists in the region surrounding a magnet. The lines along which the iron fillings align themselves represent magnetic field lines. Magnetic field is a quantity that has both direction and magnitude. The direction of magnitude field is the direction in which a north pole of the compass needle moves inside it. By convention, the field lines emerge from north pole and merge at south pole. The relative strength of magnetic field is shown by degree of closeness of field lines. Where field lines are crowded, the magnetic field is stronger. Electric current through metallic conductor produces magnetic field around it. But the pattern of magnetic field produced depends on the shape of the conductor. We will find the pattern of magnetic field in case of straight conductor. Look at this electric circuit. Straight copper wire is inserted into a plain rectangular cardboard as shown. We will put some iron fillings uniformly on the cardboard. When we allow current to pass through the circuit, iron fillings align themselves showing concentric circles around the copper wire. These concentric circles represent the magnetic field lines. To find the direction of the magnetic field, we place a compass at point P over a circle. The direction of the north pole of the compass needle would give the direction of the field lines produced by the electric current. Keeping the current same, when the compass is moved from the copper wire, we see that the deflection in the needle decreases. The magnetic field produced by the current decreases as the distance from it increases. Also, the concentric circles become larger and larger as we move away from the conductor. Right hand thumb rule is a convenient way of finding the direction of magnetic field associated with a current carrying conductor. If you imagine that you are holding a current carrying straight conductor in your right hand such that the thumb points towards the direction of current then your fingers will wrap around the conductor in the direction of the field lines of the magnetic field as shown here. This rule is also called Maxwell's corkscrew rule. If we consider ourselves driving a corkscrew in the direction of the current, then the direction of the corkscrew is the direction of the magnetic field. At every point of current carrying circular loop, the concentric circles representing magnetic field around it would become larger and larger as we move away from wire. By the time we reach the center, the arcs appear as straight lines. The magnetic field produced by a current carrying wire at a given point depends directly on the current passing through it. Hence, if there is a circular coil having n turns, the field produced is n times as large as that produced by a single turn. Solenoid is a coil of many circular turns of insulated copper wire 
wrapped closely in shape of a cylinder. The pattern of magnetic field lines around a current carrying solenoid is same as that of a bar magnet. The magnetic field is same at all points inside a solenoid. A strong magnetic field produced inside a solenoid can be used to magnetize a piece of magnetic material like soft iron when placed inside the coil. The magnet formed by such a method is called an electromagnet. French scientist André-Marie Ampère proved that magnetic field exerts an equal and opposite force on a current carrying conductor. Let us check this with an activity. A strong horseshoe magnet is placed around a small aluminium rod in such a way that the rod lies between the two poles with the magnetic field directed upwards. To do this, we will have to put the north pole of the magnet vertically below and south pole vertically above the aluminium rod. When current is passed through the rod, the rod is displaced towards the left. When the direction of current is reversed or the direction of the field is changed, the direction of force acting on the rod gets reversed. Hence, direction of force on conductor depends upon the direction of current and the direction of magnetic field. Displacement of rod is more when the direction of current is at right angle to the direction of magnetic field. Fleming's left-hand rule helps to find the direction of motion or force acting on the conductor. When we stretch thumb, forefinger and middle finger of our left hand will be in perpendicular direction. Then if the forefinger points in the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger in the direction of current, then the thumb will point in the direction of motion or the force acting on the conductor. What is an electric motor? An electric motor is a rotating device that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. Electric motor is used in electric fans, refrigerators, mixers, washing machines, computers and music players. An electric motor consists of a rectangular coil ABCD of insulated copper wire. The coil is placed between the two poles of a magnetic field such that the arm AB and CD are perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field. The ends of the coil are connected to two halves P and Q of a split ring. The inner sides of split rings are insulated and attached to an axle. The external edges touch to brushes X and Y. When the current is allowed to pass through the coil, it flows in arm AB from A to B and that in arm CD from C to D. By Fleming's left-hand rule, force on AB pushes it downwards while force on CD pushes it upwards. Thus, the coil and the axle rotate in anti-clockwise direction. At half rotation, Q makes contact with the brush X and P with brush Y. Therefore, the current in the coil gets reversed and flows along the path DCBA. A device that reverses the direction of flow of current through a circuit is called a commutator. In electric motors, the split ring acts as a commutator. The reversal of current also reverses the direction of force acting on the two arms, AB and CD. The reversing of the current is repeated at each half rotation, giving rise to continuous rotation of coil and to the axle. The commercial motors use an electromagnet in place of permanent magnet. Large number of turns of the conducting wire in the current carrying coil and a soft iron core on which the coil is wound. The soft iron core on which the coil is wound plus the coils 
is called an armature. This enhances the power of the motor.